blank pages. A clean slate. Each car begins the same. From a spark of passion grows a team. Whose drive and dedication burns day and night. With a chance at glory fueling innovation. Concepts become tangible. An erasing machine is born.
thank you again. I will emphasize, I think this is by far the best car I've seen as well. Um, a couple of technical highlights that I will go over in just a moment. Um, we'll start with the Aero. Um, the Aero package is semi-new this year. Uh, last year we didn't have um, much of an Aero team. We had kind of a minimalist package. Um, this year we had a lot of knowledge that we wanted to tap into. Uh, so this is our Aero package. Um, like Yannick already mentioned, the, the big emphasis on this was efficiency. So coefficients of lift to drag, um, overall weight as well. And as well, the, the radiator and cooling system is part of the Aero team, which allows them to actually cool the car effectively because they know where the air is going to be. Um, there's a tremendous amount of development that's gone into this, lots and lots of CFD. Uh, we have a wind tunnel that we test at, and there's one of our generous sponsors. And it just looks pretty awesome, I think. This is uh, Ian's monocoque. Last year we did a half monocoque, uh, which went really well. Um, a lot of teams start their first year doing a monocoque with the front half being carbon and the rear half being steel. Uh, mainly because it's a little bit easier to tackle in one year. We have that experience, we have those mistakes to learn from. Now we have a full monocoque and it's uh, 20 pounds lighter than last year's with brackets and roll hoops and everything. So that's an incredible, incredible uh, weight savings and uh, benefit to the car overall. Next we have driver interface. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is a new team again this year. Um, we've had it before, but this allows us to focus a little bit more on how the driver interacts with the car, which is just about as important. If you have seatbelt brackets poking you all over the place, it's going to be hard to focus and to drive quickly. We have an entire team dedicated to developing that interface. So we have new pedal tray setup. We have a uh, floppy paddle gearbox, as uh, uh, Jezza would say it on top here. Um, we've got a, a really great steering wheel that gives a bit more feedback. It's a lot lighter as well. Um, and just in general, the seat, everything in form, fit, and function for the driver. Next, we have the drivetrain. Uh, a large number of improvements this year. Um, one of them is that we went with the Drexler differential. Uh, the key benefit there is that it's a differential made by a company for FSAE. Uh, we don't really fit the sizing of most uh, different companies. That's meant for us, and uh, I think we saved about two pounds with that alone. Uh, in addition, in order to save weight, uh, reduce complexity, we went with uh, integrated hubs and CVs. So that means, let's see if I can get a mouse for you. Over here, uh, sure. yes, um, those are integrated. So the CV used to be its own entity. You had to spline it, it had to be uh, fastened into the hub itself. That's all one piece now. It allowed us to save a significant amount of weight. Um, and it's really, really pretty, I think. Uh, then, of course, we have the engine. Uh, as we already mentioned, we went to a single cylinder this year. Uh, we've been looking at doing that for many, many, many years. Uh, we finally uh, kind of put the development into it. Um, like we've said, the competition is changing. Fuel economy is much, much more important uh, nowadays. And so we went with the single cylinder, lose a little bit of power. Uh, car is actually slightly slower, I will admit it. Uh, but the points we gain in fuel economy uh, and cost as well are more than outweighed. We do a full analysis um, anytime we make one of these design, design decisions, a full analysis to validate, okay, is that, that lap time increase worth it or not? Um, this is, so we have our single cylinder engine this year. Um, it has run a number of times. It's actually fully tuned on an engine dyno this year, right now. And uh, I'm very, very excited for that. Uh, next we have our uh, suspension package. As I already mentioned, uh, with drivetrain, they've co-designed the integrated system. So that, the, the suspension side of that was the hubs. Um, huge, huge changes there. Um, they're all aluminum, kind of like last year's, but uh, a little bit bigger and more awesome. And uh, without sponsors like you guys, this is another instance of where this car wouldn't be possible. Uh, we have a very, very generous donation of bearings that uh, let us do some really, really cool stuff that we've never gotten to do before. Um, the whole thing overall is just Pretty amazing. Many changes, many improvements, and weight loss all the way around. A smaller engine doesn't just weigh less by itself, it happens to be 60 pounds less. It allows every part on the car to be lighter because every other part has to support less weight, uh, less load, and so the entire car this year is actually almost an entire 100 pounds lighter in driving form with fluids just after it ran, so cooling, oil, gasoline, 100 pounds lighter. So. Um, that's an enormous improvement. Here is a, uh, 
a rendering of the full car. Uh, one of the things that's a little more subtle, you might or might not notice, those look uh, really, really similar. Um, I think this is our best model to get of the car. We paid a huge amount of attention to detail, both in design, assembly, um, and just trying to keep track of the car. Uh, we have every fastener in our model, we have every uh, hose, line, wire. That allows us to build a car the first time that has less chance of interference while we build it. Um, most of this car went together, actually the easiest I've ever seen it. A lot of parts just went together kind of like they were modeled that way, uh, which was really, really great. Uh, one of the many reasons our car is so much earlier this year. Um, like we've already said, last year's unveiling I think was just under a month from today, um, and it wasn't running, I won't uh, hide that too much. This car runs and it's here. So. There's our car. Um, I would also, again, like to extend a special thanks to the ME department. Um, without them, in the video you've seen all of this amazing equipment, hardware, machines, um, the space we have to build this. Uh, we have great resources. I'd like to um, explicitly thank Professor Emery. Um, he's our faculty advisor. Um, he is our liaison with the department. I'd also like to thank, uh, let's see, I think Kevin, Kevin uh, is teaching class. Kevin Sonderland is one of our shop masters. Um, they provide training, they provide equipment, um, advice, sometimes uh, chastisement, I guess, but uh, all for learning. Um, we also have Eamon McQuaid sitting over here, another tremendous help. Um, less of a shop master, more of like a shop Yoda or something. So uh, this car would not be possible without both of them. Um, in addition, Bill Kuykendall, I'm not sure if he's here tonight or not, um, he's our lab tech and he is incredible. He has an amazing amount of knowledge um, at his grasp. He helps us with all our composite work, uh, helps us run the machines, uh, does a ton of work for us and we're extremely grateful for that. And I don't think, uh, and of course, uh, Chair Reinhall, um, he provides and organizes everything for us, so uh, great, great assistance, thank you. We have a, a little time lapse of the assembly of the car to show you. It's always fun to see kind of the stages that it goes through. Um, there's a lot of work, 15,000 hours. Some of that's spent in the machine shop. sponsors and donors down for a photo with our car. been the best looking car that I've ever seen and I'm very excited to see how it would do in competition and how it would uh, all drive. Once again, thank you and please come on down and take a look at our car. Thank you. 